Hello everyone, this is ASMR is today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you how to edit the indoor portrait. That means uh, you have uh, just uh, taken photo in your studio uh, using backdrop or uh, other things and the indoor light setup and I will show you how to edit that uh, just because of uh, you know that uh, sometimes uh, this type of photo you get from your studio but uh, you don't know how to edit that uh, so this tutorial is for you okay let's start uh, at first make a copy of this layer by pressing ctrl j or just drag it and just uh, drop here here is the new layer options and you can do a uh, copy okay after that go to the filter and camera filter uh, I want to tell one thing you no need uh, any kind of uh, extra things to do edit this one I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud 2017 and if you are not using this version please do update this version otherwise you won't get the camera filter by default okay uh, at first here is something you have to just uh, analyze this with the backdrop okay fine uh, the light is good the color is good but uh, something you have to adjust with okay the background color at first i'm just uh, okay uh, here is the, the light extra light in, and here is the light okay fine uh, just uh, the highlight uh, the reduce the highlights options or uh, highlight minus 553 is good and add some clarity five it's good and hit the okay button you'll get okay okay after that just turn off the background options i will work with these options uh, i'll just rename this one we'll give main okay and press another two copy by pressing ctrl j and j and i will give the d and the b d for dodge and b for burn burn i'm turning off the d uh, layer and b layer is on and this one is for highlighted areas that is the burn and blending mode make it skin and just right press over there and blending options you'll get this window and slide this one and find out the highlighted area of this picture okay press the alter button just divide this slide and just adjust with the face or color okay hit the ok button after that mask this one and go to the image options and the apply image and hit the ok button okay you'll get the highlighted portion of your image okay that's a uh, shiny you know that okay turn on this delay the dodge option the shadow i'll just uh, add here which is uh, more important for your photo okay uh, just blending mode in a multiply options and then right press and go to the blending options and slide this slider okay find out the shadow area of the face or the image and just again press the alter button it will divide and adjust with the face okay we can adjust the opacity of this 83 that's good and hit the ok button and same process mask this one after that go to the image and apply image in this case just tick here invert option and hit the ok button okay just select those these two layer d and b dodge and burn and make it group by pressing ctrl g g for group and just mask this one after that go to the image and apply image again and just uncheck this one invert option and hit the ok button you'll get a nice shadow and highlight dodge and burn option by default okay that's good and here is some extra things which is unnecessary that's why i'll crop this one go to the crop options and just press here it will reset your things and just like that okay uh, here uh, some the horizontal line and the vertical line POV point of view here here I'll just keep the eyes in this line just because of composition okay hit the ok button it will crop uh, okay that's good 
and select this layer main layer 2 and make it group and then make it merge after making it merge i'll go to the filter options and camera raw filter okay now i will just uh, add some vignette from the effect like that okay that's good and adjust this one good and then go to the sharp of sharpening or detail options add some amount of sharpening and accept noise reducer okay and slightly the color okay that's good and then in the basic options you can make it just like that or just like that warm or this one the temperature if you just down the temperature it will be cool color tone and if you just increase the temperature it will be warmer okay in this case i will minus 11 is good and add some okay minus 11 okay minus 4 that's good that's good and then now in the hsl the hue saturation and luminance here is hue and the saturation and luminance okay in the hue options i won't change anything in a saturation okay i'll give some blues i'll reduce the blues luminance okay here is some blues you are watching okay aqua will re just reduce the luminance yellow little bit and i'll desaturate the orange color of face and increase the luminance of orange like that I keep that's good camera calibration i'll go and just give some primary blue color reduce and like that the primary green color i will reduce and saturation primary blue i will increase saturation of primary green i will increase and hit the ok button this one was the previous image and now you can get this nice effect after that go to the adjustment layer and the gradient map in this gradient map just select here and select the violet orange gradient and hit the ok button after that make it the soft light and decrease the fill value 23 or you can just add okay let's get and after that go to the adjustment layer again and color lookup and add the horror blue color after adding horror blue color reduce the opacity keep the opacity like that that's good and after that select all the layers and make it group make it march by pressing ctrl shift alter e okay after that you can go to the filter and nick collection and color fix pro 4 nick collection is totally free i'll give you the download link of these plugins uh, one thing is that if your pc is not high configured don't use these plugins just because of uh, your pc will be slow okay i'm using cross processing these options this filter and here is some filters i will choose one filter from here and obviously i will choose the cool color filter it's good i'm finding this one that's nice and hit the ok button okay preparing the image saving the image okay that's good and let's see what was the previous one unedited and then you will get the edited one okay and take a blank layer for the eyes i will increase the eyes color okay take a brush and the first one brush and make it white and just just keep your brush size 25 30 is good and just click once and here once you can decrease the uh, brush size by pressing the third bracket opening and just press here that's good and go to the blending mode and make it the overlay and just decrease the fill okay 
previous and the present after that just make it group all the layers and make it merge by pressing ctrl shift alter e go to the filter again and camera raw filter and then add some contrast and uh, decrease the shadows add some whites a little bit two or three is good and the blacks clarity five percent variance three percent and the saturation three percent that's good and hit the ok button this photo will give you or this if it will give you more matcher or uh, the pro level uh, that's good and after that you can go again in the filter camera filter and I'll work with the dress actually I'll de highlight the color of the for the dress okay and go to the HSL and increase the luminance of orange and the red color also decrease the blue color and aqua also and the magenta also and decrease the saturation of orange and red little bit okay that's good and the purple also and after that split toning you just you can adjust your split toning like that at a little bit saturation five or six percent and then balance this one plus three that's good and in the shadow tint i'll just add like that primary color red i'll just give the plus 11 it will give more nice effect of your photo and the primary green i'll reduce and hit the ok button okay it was our previous image which is the unedited and the after edit this one like that okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you want to get this type of amazing tutorial do subscribe my channel and share with your friend it will help me out to make another tutorial okay till the next video i am asmari signing out and bye bye